Dungeons and Dragons, a game that has been compared to the average pastime of the North American paste eater since its conception in the early 1970s. However, it actually can have really fun and interesting moments for those with a creative mind and six hours worth of boredom to kill. Let's take a look at the basic mechanics. You throw a rock and it evaluates your self-esteem. The higher the number, the more you will want to continue playing. You come prepared with a study guide that has everything except your character's social security information, and that's only if you're feeling lazy. Your character is selected from a surplus of fictional species, such as elves, the top 1%, dwarves, the working class, orcs, the mental patients with anger issues, and tieflings, the DeviantArt homepage. There are other races that can be chosen from, but that will depend on your dungeon master, your friend with an obvious god complex. Dungeons and Dragons